This video will demonstrate how to load a new design from a USB stick to the memory of the embroidery machine. On the right hand side of your control panel is an access port for the USB stick. Open the port and carefully insert the USB stick. Next, you're going to find the icon at the lower part of your LCD that looks like some flowers. This is the design import menu. You're going to touch that icon and it's going to bring you to the designs that are currently in the memory of the machine. You can scroll through those designs and you can see all the designs that are currently in the memory of your machine. We're going to draw a new design from the USB stick. I'm going to use the touch the right arrow key until we come to an icon that looks like a floppy diskette. Then you're going to touch that icon. It's going to prompt you to select the disk and we're going to touch the icon that says USB disk. It's going to read the information that's on that disk and you'll be able to scroll through to see the designs that are on the disk. If you look at this list of designs and you're not exactly sure what design it is that you want and you want to preview a design to see if that's the one you're looking for, you highlight it by selecting it touch the right arrow key until you come to an icon that looks like a magnifying glass. You touch that icon and it's going to preview the design that you've highlighted. It'll show you a picture of the design, it'll tell you what the file name is, how many stitches are in the design, and how many colors. To exit preview you just press the escape key and then you can say yes that's the design I want. If it is then you're going to touch the left arrow key until you come back to an icon that looks like this. It has the red arrow pointing into a file. You touch that icon. It's going to prompt you for the memory number that it's going to program it into the machine. And If you want you can also touch the new design name. It'll highlight and you can change the name for what it's going to be in the memory. If however you like the name or it's okay with you, you're just going to touch the OK, the green check mark and it's going to import the design into the memory of the machine. Now depending on how big the design is will determine how long it takes to import the design into the memory of the machine. Once it's finished importing it's going to bring you back to the directory of the USB disk. If you want to select more designs you can repeat that process or if you're ready now to bring the design up from the memory of the machine to embroider you're going to escape the menu from the USB and then it brings you back to the memory of what's in the design and you can use your scroll bar the down arrow key of course scrolls down and the up arrow key of course scrolls up until you find the design that you just loaded to the memory you'll touch it to highlight it you're going to touch your left arrow key to come back to the first icon that has a needle with a flower next to it and this will tell it to select that design and bring it into the memory of the machine to be embroidered if you've not released the embroidery from before, you, it'll prompt you to say that you need to release the embroidery before changing the embroidery design. Close that menu by touching the X. We're going to escape out of this menu. And then we're going to touch the icon that has the uh, needle with a red up and down arrow key next to it. This will release the embroidery. It'll prompt you to confirm embroidery release. You touch the OK button. And now we're going to go back to the memory of the machine by touching the design menu. We can scroll back through to find the design that we wanted to embroider, highlight it, touch again the icon that looks like the needle with the flower to the right of it. Now it brings it into the memory of the machine, but you don't yet see it on the screen because we haven't set the embroidery. We'll set the embroidery by touching the icon that's to the left here that has a red slash through a needle and an up and down arrow key. Press that key, it'll ask us to confirm it. We'll confirm it by touching the icon with the green check. It'll bring the design up and preview it on the screen. Now we need to program the colors. I'm going to do that by going into the settings. Uh, the, the icon is represented by a couple of gears. You touch that icon. We've got a lot of information here. It talks about scaling and rotating, the direction the design is going to sew, and so forth. What we're interested in is the color sequence. And that icon is the one that has the two needles with the red arrow and a little gear next to it. You touch that icon, and it brings up the color sequence. It's going to preview your design, 
and then it's going to show you the list of needles that it's pre-programmed which it's just going to cycle from one through however many colors in the design we want to set the color sequence you notice you have an up arrow key and a down arrow key that lets you walk through the design uh, the colors that are in the design in this case this design has five colors so it just lets us walk through those five colors okay all right go back to color number one and now we have just below that set the representatives of one through fifteen needles so if you look at your job sheet and you know you want to use needle number four first because it has the color that corresponds to the first color you want you just touch that icon and you notice that it changes it to the color and the number represented here below so let's say we want to then use needle number eight we touch eight and again the same thing happens needle number three or needle number ten for our third color needle number one for our fourth color and our last is the fifth color and we're just going to touch needle number twelve Okay. we've now programmed the colors and you can see the preview of up here changing as we change the colors as well if that color sequence is correct you're going to touch the OK key that brings us back to the settings menu and we're going to escape and now you'll notice across the bottom of your screen that it'll reflect the needle numbers that you've programmed. 